A few weeks ago, we were at Cedia 2022. We saw some incredible products and one of those was Kaleidoscape. Kaleidoscape said, Michael, I've got a really cool dealer showroom that I'd love to take you. And so today we're here at Elliston Systems and Design with the owner, Steve Elliston. Steve, thanks so much for inviting us into this beautiful space. We're gonna look at some cool stuff. Tell us what you've got. Well, Michael, welcome to Dallas. I'm glad you're here. Thanks. Uh, so we're actually in the Dallas Design District. Um, the reason we basically live here is because we have a lot of architects and interior designers in this area. So it's very convenient for them to come by and see the latest and greatest in home technology. Yeah. Uh, we've got everything here for you. We've got lighting, we've got shades, we've got AV, we've got uh, IT, I mean, you name it. I'm gonna show it to you all. Well, let's go look at some really cool stuff. All right, let's do it. So Michael, this is the first part of our showroom. We, uh, we love lighting and we love Lutron. So this is a uh, Lutron catcher lighting. Okay. And what we're showcasing here is the difference between traditional track lighting, which is going to be a standard color temperature sure. versus the Ketra, where I have the ability to go from 2,700 to 3,000 to even 5K. So it actually changes the way that your design looks on the wall. Exactly. So depending on the artwork, you might not want it to be 2,700. It might gotcha. be more of a contemporary look where you want 5,000. Interesting. They also have what's called a vibrancy factor. So when I double click this, I'm getting uh, all the reds and the blues and the greens. You see how they pop. Sure. It's more three-dimensional than a traditional track light is. Gotcha. So lighting yeah. can really kind of create the mood in a home, or as we're going to see in just a little bit, this really awesome home theater. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, this is the backbone of our showroom. So all the, all the fun stuff, in, oh, my, in my a, opinion. This is a serious <laughs> rack here. What do you got going on in here? Yeah, so this is uh, basically controlling all the multi-room audio, multi-room video, we have a Crestron home system here. Okay, sure. Uh, we're using NVX to distribute video to all the televisions in our uh, mock-up home that you're okay. about to see. Sure. Uh, everything that we do here is Cisco. Uh, as far as our backbone, Watt box, we've got, as you can see on this side, we've got uh, QSC amps for all of our James loudspeakers. Okay. Uh, Crestron NAX, autonomic for our sources. And of course, we've got Kaleidoscape. I love it, man. So this is gonna be cool. I'm already getting excited about this. Let's go check out the house. All right, let's look at it. So Michael, the company was founded in 2001. And since then, we've probably been through four or five remodels of our showroom. Sure. This one has certainly been my favorite because it represents someone's home. Gotcha. Our clients can actually see the technology live and in person working and, and how it's going to look in their home. Yeah, this looks like, I mean, we've got a living room, we've got dining room table, kitchen. This is cool and it's beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, kind of first stop here is our mock-up bedroom. Okay. Uh, as I mentioned, we are into lighting, so we start off showing our clients what four cans and a ceiling look like, sure. which you typically would see on an architectural plan. Right. We don't like that. You know, we like to go into the design mode or the architectural mode. Oh, so nice. this is true architectural lighting and how a bedroom should look. Versus and like you said, your clients are a lot of artists in this area. That's right. That's beautiful. I love how the lighting accents, just some cool places in this room. Yeah, uh, we've got uh, hidden in, the, in these walls are our Sonance invisible speakers. Okay. Uh, Sony OLED, so nice. kind of a perfect setting. Yeah. Uh, Crestron home touch panel by the bed. Super um, cool, LEDs underneath the bed. LED, all done by motion. Gotcha, so, so when you walk in the room, it turns on? That's right, or you know what we're basically simulating if you're in bed and you get up at night. Okay, you got a little nightlight. Got a little no nightlight. No way. <laughs> I love that, I love how technology kind of enhances just the vibe that's created in our home space. This is cool. Yeah, uh, all of our speakers are gonna be architectural grade, so sure. they're mud in, matching the ap aperture size of the lighting. Sure. Uh, we do a lot of Lutron shades here. Mm -hmm. So I've got uh, the latest Palladium style. We got battery power, triathlons. Over on this side, uh, this is a, actually a project that we did outside of Houston. And what we're sho showcasing here is the roller shade. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, different openness factors sewn together. This is a 1%, okay. 3%, and a 5%. So our clients can get an idea of uh, what type of openness factor or privacy that they want. Sure, so we can see what's going on outside, but still let some light in and you can still see what's going on. That's right, and we've doubled this up uh, with a blackout shade. Nice. So great for uh, primary bedrooms where they wanna have both options, sheer and blackout. Sure, gotcha. Uh, over here is our living room. Yeah, let's we'll go right around okay. this way. So as I mentioned, uh, discrete audio or just discrete technology is very important to our clients and the architects. Yeah. 
Uh, we're using James loudspeaker in here. This okay. is actually a Dolby Atmos room, believe it or really? not. Really? Yeah, yeah. All of the speakers are going to be uh, seamless with the with the drywall. Gotcha. I've got a LCR bar um, hidden behind our fabric here. Okay. If you notice down below, I've got a toe kick vent. Well, that's actually a subwoofer. No, stay. I love so I'll oh, check this out. <laughs> so that's a 10 inch sub so right with here, a snorkel. This is ventilating down here. That's right. Coming out the bottom. Very discreet. Love it. So believe it or not, we have two subwoofers in this room. Okay. So the exact same sub is over here in this corner, in the ceiling. No way. So we have that same sub in the attic space, doesn't overheat. Yeah. And it's a four inch square aperture, delivering the same power that this one is. Sure. And because subwoofers are pretty much omnidirectional, doesn't matter if they're in the floor or ceiling. So that's pretty creative to kind of get that out of your space. That's right. I love it. Uh, as I mentioned, this whole space is uh, run by Crestron Home. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we're showcasing here. We've got several different touch panels throughout, give sure. people an idea of what sizes and colors that they might want. Gotcha. Uh, we also have Lutron keypads for our lighting to give them an idea of different colors and textures that are available. And of course, multi-room audio, multi-room video. Sure. We have lots of different displays. So with our Kaleidoscape system, we can show our, our clients that, hey, if you're, just because you've got a Kaleidoscape system in the theater, we mm -hmm. can also distribute that to other rooms throughout the house. Nice. So they can watch it in the bedroom, living room, all that's tied in because of that terabyte server. And I heard they had an 88 terabyte server now. Yes. That's pretty incredible. It's incredible. And, and it's very much welcomed. <laughs> and so that's what's in your theater room too, right? That's what we have in our theater. And I can't wait to show you the theater. That's going to be exciting. Can we take a look? Let's do it. Michael, this is our crown jewel. Nice. Steve, this is gorgeous. But like you said, same design out there. Everything's clean, minimalistic. I don't see any speakers, so this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I, I, I can't wait to hear what you've got in this room. So kind of walk us through this beautiful setup. This is a special room. Uh, and like I said, it's been remodeled because we're, it's, it's always a work in progress. Mm -hmm. What's most interesting to me um, is that this room has always been this size. Okay. But we actually had to expand the room out uh, 18 inches on the sides, mm -hmm. six feet in the, in the back uh, to accommodate for Meyer sound. Gotcha. Now, those aren't familiar with Meyer sound, uh, and a lot of people are not. Yeah. Uh, they don't, at, at this present time, there's not a lot of in-wall options. So mm -hmm. they are box speakers. Okay. Um, so you have to accommodate for that. But these are concert speakers. Yeah. This is the real deal. Uh, Dolby Labs, Skywalker Ranch, which I've been to, they all use Meyer sound. And, and John Meyer's vision was, if you're gonna use my speakers to score music, sure. why are the end users not using it? Nice, makes sense. So after I visited Skywalker Ranch, I was immediately sold on it. Um, so what, we, what we've done here, and I'm gonna show you, get ready for this. Okay, where am I looking? Right there. What? So we've highlighted our, our walls to I showcase our speakers. There's 24 speakers in this room. We're using a Sony uh, 4K laser. Yeah. We've got Sonique furnishings, it's our seating here. Okay. Uh, as I mentioned, all Meyer sound. Right. And of course, Kaleidoscape is our main source. Nice. So what is the, the layout configuration in the speakers? Like seven point, nine point? Ah. What do we have in here? So there's actually a total of seven subs. Okay. Oh, I, li I like this. <laughs> My audience knows I love subwoofers. I can't wait to experience this. Yes. So we got seven subwoofers in here. Seven subs. We, awesome. uh, we, we decided to add two more just for the low frequency. Okay. Um, and just to add that extra oomph. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, we've got uh, six channels in the ceiling. Okay. We uh, bump these walls out for our front sides. Sure. And of course, we've got our, our three subs, uh, LCR across the front behind the screen. Gotcha. Um, what we learned with Keith Yates, who is the doctor of sound, that's what I like to call him. Mm -hmm. He is the designer, of, the acoustical designer of this space. Right. When, uh, when Keith first arrived, he ran some numbers with microphones, and we determined that the sweet spot wasn't where we needed to be, which is right here in the center seat. It was about three feet forward. Gotcha. So we had to expand the room back six feet, stuff it with Pink Panther insulation sure. in order to move that sweet spot to the proper position. Gotcha. And I talk a lot about that on my channel that, you know, where you place your seats can really drastically impact your bass response and your imaging and all that. Yeah. So it's cool that you're looking at the design first, 
where do we have the best seat instead of trying to fix that with DSP and things. So right. get the room right, get your seating positions right. I think it makes it a lot easier in that process. And acoustical treatment is everything. Yeah. I mean, you can, you can buy an inexpensive speaker and if you put it in a treated room, sure. that inexpensive speaker actually sounds pretty good. Yeah. Right? Now we've got the best of both worlds. Right. We've got sure. incredible speakers <laughs> in an incredibly acoustically, acoustically treated room. Sure, definitely. I love it. I mean, like I said, this is cool. I mean, I love being able to see speakers, so being able to turn these <laughs> on, that's pretty slick. I've never seen anybody do that in a home theater tour that I've visited. So yeah. maybe what size screen do we have here? Yeah, so um, this is a this is a two three five screen that okay. also has a vertical masking. All right. So we can bring it down to a sixteen nine. Okay, gotcha. Um, but we're one hundred and seventy nine inches um, at two three five. I love it, man. I love immersiveness. Yeah. And so I love seeing almost a wall to wall screen. Beautiful image with Kaleidoscape. And what projector are we running with this? So this is the brand new Sony. Okay. Um, this is the 7000 series. Yeah. And and what we did, just so you can see back there, I didn't want the projector in the room. Yeah. I, I know the new Sonys are, are quiet. Sure. Yeah. But I just didn't want to have that in, yeah. in the space. So we did build out a projector box uh, behind the room. And we've got our theater port glass. Sure. Um, that way it's just not... Our goal, again, is to be discreet, and yeah. I just didn't want to have any technology in the room. Sure, and I get that. And plus, one thing about having your projector outside the room, it definitely minimizes the heat that's brought into the room, too. Yes. So that's another thing, as well as the fan noise. Exactly. I love it. So we've got beautiful, credible speakers. We've got this killer, huge 2.35. Yes. 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio screen. Seven subwoofers, I can't wait to hear that. That's gonna be absolutely incredible. Now Keith Yates, so he, I've heard his name over and over. Yeah. He's like the pinnacle of design, right? In the home is. theater space. He is, uh, he's a very, he's a, a genius in my opinion. Yeah. A very smart individual. So we had a, a short time period to get this room ready for Cedia. Okay. Um, so he produced an intense amount of documentation. Uh, document, I mean, Plans, specifications I have never seen before. Gotcha. Uh, so my crew actually took those plans and built this room out. The baffle wall is intense. Uh, it, that took us quite a bit of time. It's extremely heavy. We had to build it on the ground, tilt it up into the space. Wow. All the speakers are enclosed uh, with, within the baffle wall. Sure. Uh, it's a really tight sound, you're gonna, what you're about to experience. Yeah. So what kind of process are we looking at? And that was probably out in your rack? We, so, have tri we have Trinoff gotcha. uh, doing the heavy lifting. Okay. What's really interesting about Meyer is they're all powered speakers. Right. So the only thing we have got going to them is signal. Gotcha. Uh, so cool. there's no amplification in our rack. Right. A lot of uh, space saving. Sure. Uh, but again, these are concert grade speakers. Yeah. We have this thing turned so far down, it's unbelievable right. what they A can do. A lot of headroom. A lot of headroom. Yeah. And oh then, my gosh. So you mentioned you've got seven subwoofers, and I've shared this one on, on my channel, but yeah. I want to hear from you. What would be the benefit? I mean, are we trying to just blow everybody out of the room, or what's the purpose of adding multiple subwoofers in a home theater? It was balance. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got three in the front, two in the back that are Meyer, okay. um, and we, as I mentioned, we wanted to, to, to touch on that low frequency. Yeah. Um, so we had to add two more just to get that feeling of mm -hmm. extra bass. So maybe some infrasonics. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited about this. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I love good. I don't want to be blown out of the room. I want I it to either. be, like you said, I want it to be balanced, you know, but I'm, I'm excited. It's I'm fun. really, really excited. Is there anything Fantastic. else that we need to talk about in the room about design or any of the components before we get to demo? Cause I'm excited now. Well, we've got, uh, again, Lutron control for the sure. lighting. Um, we're using Crestron Home to, to, for the remote and, right. and to drive it. And Kaleidoscape um, ties in with Crestron, right? Your lighting does. and stuff. Absolutely. So maybe when we hit play, do your lights dim? Sure, they absolutely do. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. One touch. It's like Kaleidoscape <laughs> kind of knows everything about what's going on. Yeah. And as I mentioned, we've got Sonique seating. Uh, it's my favorite. We have... Uh, this is a two different variations. Yeah. Designers like this piece because sure. um, it's more of a sofa versus yeah. a traditional theater chair that right. we also have. Sure. Um, so yeah, this has been a, a great hit for architects and designers and of course the homeowners. I love it. Can we do some demos? Let's do it. Okay, so we've got three cuts to play for you guys today. Uh, I kind of 
pick these special for this room, but again, they're great cuts. And so, so often we see where, you know, they want to overpower bass uh, or people want to listen to music and concerts. So a lot of times I like to start with a two channel cut, uh, which this is. So this is Sarah Bareilles. This is from her Brave Enough. What's interesting is that Sarah Bareilles is obviously a pop star in her own right and has a lot of her own great, uh, you know, songwriting. But in this case, she's actually singing a classic sitting on the dock of the bay. And so it's just so different. It's, it's intimate. And I especially like it for this theater uh, because it seats six people. You really kind of feel like you're in the concert watching with them. So uh, again, take a quick look and we'll, uh, let me know what you think. Live my home in Georgia. like I owe you admission money. Okay, you guys, this second scene is from Ford versus Ferrari, which is obviously a great scene no matter what you're playing in here. A lot of people use the perfect lap. Uh, it's actually a great scene that, that kind of pulls on the heartstrings a little bit because uh, it's kind of the final at the end is, you know, he's running through there. But this is actually a better scene for demoing, um, you know, in an Atmos theater or anything like that because I feel like you can actually hear the interaction running around, um, tires squealing. Uh, I'm a big car guy myself, so... I, uh, this is a scene that to me sounds like when I'm in a car on track racing around. So uh, we'll go ahead and play this one. This is the 7,000 plus go like hell. Okay, you guys, this last scene is from Unbroken. And so this is a great movie script. Uh, as we go through the, you know, the, the movie as a whole, it actually changes quite a bit from the scene that we're going to watch. Uh, but this is the actually opening scene. And it's interesting. I had a, uh, a friend of mine whose friend actually did the, the audio uh, on this movie. And so as we go through the scene, you'll actually hear there's 60 different layers of audio that's being blended through this. So you might only hear one channel or two channel at any particular time, uh, but just know that the sound engineers, this is all the work that they're putting into this with more than 60 different layers of sound in there. So again, you'll hear a lot of explosions, but again, it's not about big heavy bass coming in. Uh, most of them are, are very exact and you kind of hear them popping around. You'll hear it from outside of the plane and then it jumps right inside of the plane. And again, the noise dramatically increases. Uh, and again, this is just a great scene to work out any system. And again, good clean bass. <laughs> So Taylor, a couple of weeks ago, we were at Cedia 2022, and I had an absolutely incredible time getting to know your staff, learning more about Kaleidoscape. But I noticed that you have some strategic partners that you've kind of brought alongside of Kaleidoscape yeah. because they work well. Kind of tell us kind of the thought process behind that and why you chose those partners. Yeah. So as we discussed, right, Kaleidoscape is the ultimate movie player. And of course, we have to work with everybody's equipment. Sure. But when we thought about it, we thought we should go and find who are the best of breed, each category, mm. and partner with them a little bit more closely. And and we chose a lot of these same brands. We chose Meyer Sound. Mm -hmm. We chose Keith Yates Design for the overall theater design. Uh, we chose Chinoff for the sound processing, Sony for the projector. And uh, that's what's actually embodied in this theater that we're sitting in today. So now we had a lot of the same things in the show floor, but yeah. that's a noisy environment. Sure. Here we are in a Keith Yates designed theater where the treatment is, is beautiful. And what happens as a result, at least I feel, yeah. is that you're just drawn into the story. Sure. You're not conscious. It's so clean. Yeah. You're not conscious of the speakers. You're not conscious of the reproduction being a little bit different than the way it would be in real life. It just feels like live sound. It feels like you're in the story yeah. and then it becomes so much more emotional. Yeah. And I'll tell you, it's on this equipment. The only times I've cried <laughs> because it was so good yeah. is this stuff. Yeah, 
it was absolutely breathtaking. We had several demos during my time here and we listened to two channel music. I could have swore, I had no idea. He was playing two speakers. Mm -hmm. Absolutely just phenomenal. Um, and I just would close my eyes and just listen and just grin from ear to ear because it was just really, really breathtaking. And then when we went into home theater, which I love watching clips like Unbroken and the planes are flying by, incredibly immersive sound in here. Um, this is just done really, really well. And those strategic partners, I can see why you chose them. This yes. was my first experience with Meyer Sound and phenomenal. A lot of detail. There were a lot of times where somebody would be singing and they would just take this subtle breath. And I love being able to pick out those little details because like you said, it brings me into the movie or it brings me into the story. And I just kind of forget that I'm in a Home theater. Oh yeah, and that's super super cool. Yeah, you want to be in the story. Yeah, yeah. That that audio clip. Oh my, it just sounded like it was live sound. Yeah. That with the lossless audio coming from the Kaleidoscape, and through the Meyer speakers with the room treatment, it just sounded like you were in the live venue. Yeah. And then when the stories, you're in the story. So this design center, I, I just love the fact that this is representative of what you can accomplish in a home theater and in a home cinema and bringing family, bringing friends to share that passion that we have for yes. this, uh, whether it's listening to a concert musically or watching an action flick or something that's drama filled and yes. it's kind of tugging at your heartstrings. To me, that's just what this home theater experience is all about. Right. And y'all have done a phenomenal job um, with your product as well as what I've experienced here in this design center. That's why we do it.